16 inch barrel with a rifled length gas system. Let's check it out. The AR-15 M16 rifle originally was developed in a 20-inch barrel, uh, and with that it has what they call the rifle length gas system, which is about 12 inches. Uh, when the first carbines came out, especially the M4 for the U.S. military, uh, it was a 14-inch barrel, and so they dropped the gas system down from 12 inches to 7 inches. This made it much more reliable, especially for combat conditions. But it was a lot more harsh, the recoil was more, the muzzle flip was more, and there was more wear and tear on your internal parts. Uh, once the AR-15 really became popular in the civilian market, a lot of guys uh, decided to go with what they call the mid-length gas system. And because the barrel actually extended out two more inches to 16 inches, it really made sense. And it was much softer shooting, easier on your parts, muzzle rise was a lot less, and it made it great as a competition rifle, but also just out at the range. But to extend that out to 12 inches, again, with a rifle length system on a 16 inch barrel was even better. The Dissipator came out and others, but today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Romeo, which is from Dynamic Defense Development. It's a 16 inch barrel in 223 Wild, which is an excellent chambering that fires accurately both 223 and 556 with a full rifle length gas system. And man, this gun is a soft shooting machine. And what's great is, it's also very reliable. Make sure the gun is unloaded, no magazine, check the chamber, and it's empty. Now just looking at the rifle, there's not really any difference between it and a number of different type rifles with, you know, upgraded accessories. Uh, but the big secret is that 12 inch gas system. You know, one of the things about the Dissipator, which had a 12 inch gas system, but it had a an A2 sight tower. And so it just kind of had a really squared off funky look to it. Uh, but with the free float handguard, and it just really makes it look smooth. And really you can't tell that much difference unless you get a closer look. Here the gas block is right here. So it is a low profile gas block and it just comes really close to the end of the barrel. Uh, it is a 16.1 inch barrel. Now here we have all the parts laid out for the assembly. The big thing is the barrel. And again, this is the Romeo. It's a 223 Wild uh, and it's one and eight twist. And we have it laser etched right on the barrel. Uh, and then you have your 0.75 uh, diameter of the barrel here so whatever gas system you're going to put on here or gas block it'll need to be the 0.75 diameter uh, it's also dimpled here at the bottom and then you have your dynamic defense logos on either side the thread pitch is half by 28 and we're using one of the bcm gunfighter compensators it does have an oversized m4 barrel extension it's going to be a little tight going in and that's going to actually aid in accuracy but you can see the melanite finish on this barrel is just beautiful uh, we're using one of the Stinger handguards. This is what their, their Hulk handguard, very reasonably priced uh, handguard system, and this is a 15 and a half inch. We also have one of the Aero Precision upper receivers. Uh, we have the Sharps Rifle Company XPB bolt carrier. It's extreme performance bolt uh, carrier and reliable bolt. Has the diamond like coating on it. I'm using one of the uh, BCM Gunfighter charging handles, and this is their new 4x4. It's an ambidextrous charging handle, and uh, this is a upgrade from the standard Gunfighter. Now we have a rifle length gas tube, and I have one of the Yankee Heel low profile. Uh, this is bomb proof, and uh, we're going to be using it. Now, unfortunately, because of YouTube's new policies, we can't show the actual installation of the barrel. 
So I'm going to have a link down below in the description. You can click on it, go to full 30, and watch the installation if you want to see it. But it's really pretty much standard to the regular installation of a barrel on an AR-15. Of course, on this rifle in particular, we do have one of the Magpul UBR stocks. And I've got one of the VZ G10 grips. Uh, and then I think we talked about some of the other parts we have on here. Magpul uh, m bus sights. One thing that I was concerned about with a rifle length gas system and a carbine buffer tube was reliability. Will it be reliable? Uh, and so I actually used this rifle for four different reviews with the Romeo barrel before I did this review. We had zero malfunctions. I mean, we just didn't have any. Uh, it was a very clean shooting. Uh, the recoil was very mild. Uh, you could tell immediately. In fact, as soon as I started shooting, I was like, wow, I mean, that makes a difference. It was that evident. Uh, the muzzle flip was a lot less. Uh, the uh, back pressure here, and of course, it definitely is less even on your shoulder. Now, 5.56 five, or 223 is not that big of a deal with recoil, but the flatter shooting, the better. The easier it is to get on target. Uh, it just makes for a better day at the range. If you're a competitive shooter, that is a big deal. I mean, super seconds count. And not that they shouldn't count in a real life firefight, but you know, reliability is more important. And that's one of the things about this rifle that I found is that the reliability was excellent. So here I'm gonna show some footage between the rifle length gas system and a carbine length gas system. And I'm using one of the Wyndham Weaponry uh, MPC carbines and it has one of the Boyd's wood stocks which is beautiful but that way you can kind of really see which one's which but if you watch the muzzle rise you'll also be able to tell Now I wanted to test the accuracy of the barrel uh, and we were using some of the Freedom Munitions 55 grain VMAX and these are 10 shot groups they're only at 50 yards but I was really just trying to see what kind of really tight accuracy I could get. Uh, then we took it out to 100, 200 and 300 yards hitting steel. You have your carbine length gas system, which is at 7 inches. So now when it went out to the 16 inch barrel, the mid length gas system brought it out 2 more inches. So instead of the 7 inches, we've gone to a 9 inch system for the mid length gas system. And then we go to the rifle length gas system, which is 12 inches. And this just utilizes the gas as it comes through the barrel, up through the gas block uh, with the hole that's in the barrel, and then down the gas tube. And then it hits your bolt carrier group and then comes back and brings back your buffer and buffer tube and then inserts a new round. The less gas pressure you have on there to have it function reliably uh, will just soften the recoil, less gas into the system, and it just makes it a lot more pleasurable to shoot. Uh, of course, reliability was one of the big things. And as I've mentioned, reliability was excellent uh, with the way this gun is set up. Now the price on the Dynamic Defense Development Romeo Barrel uh, is $299. Of course, that is with the 223 Wild, the Melanite finish, the oversized M4 extension, uh, and then of course with the rifle length gas system. Good quality barrel. Uh, and then we go with the Sierra, which is the 12 inch barrel. Same features as well. You can get the barrel installed onto your upper, and of course you can go to their website and check that out. But they do have a lifetime limited warranty on the barrel and for more details again you can go to the website and i want to thank the guys at dynamic defense development for sending the romeo barrel for this test and evaluation uh, it's been a real pleasure at the range it's been a very a big eye opener and uh, guys will tell you if you're looking for that really soft shooting low recoil ar-15 this is a great way to go be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic
now they've developed. Uh, we also have one of the Aerotech. We also have one of the. You've heard of double D. How about triple D? 